Well, number four is out. That is number four in the brand new series, this 2022 year of Women Making History. And as Allison and I have talked about many a times the last few months, none of us, unless we were in the enrollment program, got any of the S's. That's just the way it is now, and it will be that way for the next three and a half years. So, but there's another way. We got lots of friends and family out there, and we have the first opportunity to get in on number four. Not only the S's, but the sets. So let's take a peek. Two options available here tonight. One, the S in 66, $29.95. Yes. And then available, the P, the D, and the S, the complete three mint uncirculated set for only $89.95. Bottom line is, and starting out early, we, nobody comes close. We destroy everybody on this. We are very aggressive in this particular marketplace. But I can tell you one thing. Number four is going to be the one to be concerned about. Because right now, preliminary is these do not grade well at all for some reason. Our, I mean, we, we've had a couple of conversations that were not pleasant on, are you kidding me? Seriously. The first couple of grade at a certain percentage, and these are grading at single digit percentages? It makes no sense. So I'm just telling you right now, that's not going to change. They make one batch, they're done, it's sold out. And now tonight, finally, samples available, coins in-house, $29.95 and $89.95 respectively. Number four in the brand new series, Nina. Now, if you look at, just start with San Francisco Mint, that 66 that Steve referenced were only available in the three-roll sets. They had a very limited available number of coins out there. They brought out 7,596 rolls, translates to just over 303,000 coins, similar to the prior three issues. Wilmo is 303,000, Sally was just over 302, same thing with Maya, just over 302. But if you look at population reports, you will find that they're dropping roughly 20% each issue. Maya, 5,700 and change. Sally drops to 4,497, not even 5,000. Wilma drops down 33.65. So we're seeing a trend. And that trend is all due to the fact that the transition from number two to number three was you can no longer buy from the Mint directly if you're not in the enrollment program. So people that get their one roll, because they also capped the number of rolls you can get in the enrollment program, once you get a roll, you're not letting it go. I don't blame you. I mean, I really don't. Hang on, right? Hang on. It's a great, great coin because of the limited number. I mean, when has the government ever made only 7,596 rolls of circulating quarters? Think about this. The, this series goes down as number one, two, three, four, and then the 32S, number five, with the lowest minted coins in the entire Washington Quarter series. Now, the other thing we have not talked about yet is the reverse design. Phenomenal. Brand new design that actually is a prior design. The obverse design, the New Jersey Washington. Now, Steve always says the reverse because they're showing the reverse because it features the famous female in United States history. But the obverse design is the original John Flanagan design that we haven't seen. Tomato, tomato, <laughs> does it Since matter? Since 1932. No, the answer is it really does, and you are 100% correct, Allie, on this. And we're supposed to use that design. Correct. This yep. particular design, though, you're seeing right here, right now, is that brand new design. It'll be for the entire series, which, again, is the original design from Laura Frazier, who happened to be the first female designer of a circulating coin in U.S. history until at the last minute they grabbed on to John Flanagan's design, and that was what we've seen now for how many years? So this brand new design was brought back, tying in the theme of women making history, not only the great designs on the reverse, but this beautiful obverse design for the first time. And that's the Philadelphia P mint mark. A lot of times we don't see a Philadelphia mint mark. These have the mint marks. Philadelphia, there's the Dan Denver, the D for Denver, and then you'll see the San Francisco. We were talking to the sales staff today, the customer service staff that many of you chat with on a regular basis. And the thing we wanted to make sure we stress strongly tonight on the quarter program especially the S influence coins like this. And that is the fact that people usually jump on to a brand new series because it's exciting. We all do. I do. I know you do. We all do, right? We love number one. We love number two. And then we kind of get bored quickly. Need a new team kind of a situation, right? And that is the biggest mistake 
in collecting coins ever. Look at all the series throughout history. Number one, number two, number three, number four drop off like a rock. Lower mintage figures and or lower population reports. Now add in the US mint on this one. Only way you get the S is through the allocation site. Now, just remember, so at these prices, the lowest you're gonna find out there, whether it's the single S or you're getting the full set, great stuff. But now let's talk about the set. Because the set has, I mean, if you thought the, low, the numbers were low, with Maya, Sally, and Wilma prior to Nina just coming out. When you look at the set numbers available, it's beyond staggering. Well, here's the thing. Philadelphia and Denver mint strike coins for circulation. So they're struck extremely fast, a lot faster than the San Francisco. San Francisco's are struck Do slower. I get the clap? Could do the clap. A S mint, right? S -mint. And then you get the... Philadelphia, Denver. <laughs> round of applause for everybody, right? It's just a massive push, but they strike billions of coins, right. hundreds of millions of coins versus 300,000 coins. Right, so when you look at the grading reports for the Philadelphia's and Denver's, I already gave you the San Francisco's. We went from 5,700 to 4,400 to 3,300. Check out Denver, 1,400 for Maya, 1,398 Sally, Wilma just over 1,000, 1,061. Philadelphia's, 1,278 for Maya, drops, well, it goes up a little bit for Sally, 1357, but then it drops way down to 1017 for Wilma issue number three. And again, what was the response we got from the service? Well, if you looked at the P's and D's, they're right. just, they're problems. We won't grade it if the coin doesn't meet the grade. Right. And again, we always take a step back and say that, but it's always nice to grumble about it because it's like, ah, it just, but, but it, means, it means that number three, number four, the numbers we're seeing now, are special and that's what people usually drop off on a program we're recommending strongly you jump into the program now online abccoins.com which by the way we should be putting up because the phones are a little bit in a jam it's been that way for the entire night by the way thank you there you'll notice we have maya we have sally we have wilma as well available still very limited numbers on the pds sets very limited numbers on the S's for Maya and Wilma as well in inventory right now. And tonight we changed all of our prices back to mimic the prices you're seeing here to get you involved. We don't want anybody to miss out. It's a short four year series, five coins per year, but unlike the state quarters, which were 11 years and the national parks, which were 12 years, this is four years, a very attainable. And because of the way they're releasing these S's, Scary, scary, scary. We're going to put a one minute clock up with each one of these across the board Maya, Sally, Wilma, all limited to the Philadelphia minted coin. And if you go online, abccoins.com, like Steve said, search Maya 66, search Sally 66, search Wilma 66. You'll find them all, PDS sets online. Now's your chance to get in at these low prices before the numbers drop even further and they're even harder to find. $89.95 gets you the PDS set in 66, $29.95 for the San Francisco alone. Regardless, it's under $30 a piece. Couple of small little segments as well. We've talked about over. We, we emphasize the rarity of the coins, the special nature of the grade, and how few of them that are out there. Let's not forget about the person on the coin, all right? What a great, I mean, they all have great stories. They're all unique stories. No different than anybody else of our greats in US history. But she was the first ever female governor, government official in New Mexico. She served as the Santa Fe superintendent for a period of time. She was the first Latin American descendant to run for Congress in U.S. history. So some just very significant step forwards as we step forward here. But the most important thing tonight is you're not paying $89.95. You're paying $29.95. You're not paying almost $200 for the PDS set. You're paying $89.95. This set is special, mock my words, and we've talked about this. We see a big drop off from three to four, four to five, and any program, go back to the state quarters and the national parks. But this one, with the low mintage being the key, the others are fluctuating. This is solid, give or take 300,000, and the numbers on top of it, again, there's only a thousand sets that can be put together, basically, and I'm pretty sure that Nina's gonna be even lower from what we're Agreed. seeing so Agreed. far. Yep. Gotta join us, but it is time to be moving on.